All right, so I uh, finally got around fixing my synthesizer here, my MIDI out, and this is why you'll need to do the same thing if you ever wondered. Uh, first of all, you'll need the DOS box for later. You download it for Windows because that's where you have the problem is Windows 7. And then uh, I use the base MIDI synthesizer. This is the website you want to look at. And if you scroll all the way down, you get the uh, link to the download of the driver itself. And then kind of right below it, you get the download link for the sound font that you will need. Uh, so far, it's working great. The uh, playback is very awesome. What doesn't work for me in that sound font is playing on the keyboard itself. The, the piano sounds like shit. So I, I have to tinker with that yet. But at least I got it working. And... Let's, uh, once you have downloaded everything, of course you install it as the, like the page says, you install your DOS box, you go into your DOS box, we'll need this to confirm the uh, actual device, the immediate device on your computer, because it could be very different. So as the box is open, you enter mixer, and then uh, list MIDI. <clears throat> so here it lists our MIDI devices, that we can assign to our output and from 0 to 6 you can see 0 is bass, bass MIDI it's the one we just installed and 1 is listed as the Microsoft Wavetable synth and then my Yamaha is listed in here as well so we are after that number of course and we are after that 0 we also keep in mind uh, the position in here um, that is not used okay all right, and then what we want to do is hit our little Windows key and R together, open our Regedit by entering that in there, hit enter, uh, confirm as always, and then of course the path is H current H key current user software. <clears throat> when we go down to Microsoft active movie and then there will be uh, two folders there Devnum actually you see the whole path in the bottom too Devnum is the first one we look for the key 53B at the end default MIDI out in your case unaltered it should look like this okay couple F's we remember our zero so we enter our zero instead of those F's hit enter the Microsoft Wavetable Synth will alter to a number that we haven't seen in that DOS, which is 7. You can close that key. Go into the 64-bit version. Most of the people have that nowadays, so you have to alter that in there as well. Same entry. MIDI out as 0. Wavetable Synth, the 7. You see again my Yamaha is in, listed in here. And that is that. You don't need any of those programs off the internet that don't work anyway, because all they do is change to 32-bit, not to 64-bit. That's why it don't work. 